It's another Matt Day here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're going to talk about solving systems of lin nonlinear equations using substitution method. Let's try to use substitution method for this system. We have x squared plus y squared equal to 25. y squared is equal to x plus 5. So since we're using substitution, so let's now pick um, either first equation or second equation as to solve for the particular variable in terms of the other variable. So I'll be using on um, equation 2 for solving for x. So solve for x using equation 2. So we have y squared equal to x plus 5. We move 5 to the other side, so we have y squared minus 5 is equal to x. You may choose on um, swapping the places. You can have x, x here equal to y squared minus 5. So that will be named as equation 3. Next one, we are going to solve for the other variable. For y, we are to use the other equation that we did not use in coming up with equation 3. We are using equation 1, and then we substitute our equation 3. So using equation 1, x squared plus y squared equal to 25. We replace x with y squared minus 5, and then we square that 1 plus y squared equal to 25. So this time we are going to expand the binomial here. So expanding binomials using um, the special product, which is the square of a binomial. So we are squaring the first term. We have y squared squaring that one. That will be y to the power of 4. And then we have y squared times negative 5. That will be negative 5y times 2. That will be negative 10y squared. Then we square the last term of the bino bi binomial, which is negative 5. Negative 5 squared, that will be positive 25 plus y squared equal to 25. So we're now going to move everything else to the other side. So we have y to the power of 4, negative 10y squared plus y squared. That will be negative 9y squared because we have negative 10 plus 1 here beside y squared. That will give off a negative 9 and then we copy y squared plus 25 minus 25. That will be equal to a 0. So simplifying the constant part, we have y to the power of 4 minus 9y squared equal to a 0. We didn't factor out uh, greatest common factor, so we have y squared here. The factor will be y squared, so taking it out, we have the other factor as y squared. That's coming from y to the power of 4 divided by y squared, so that's y to the power of 4 minus 9y squared divided by y squared is a minus 9 and that's equal to 0. Since this is equated to 0 and we have the left side as factors, we can now equate y squared equal to a 0 and then we equate also y squared minus 9 to a 0. Our y value here is 0 and then our y value here, we can move 9 to the other side. So we have y squared equal to a 9. We get the square root out. I mean, we get the square out. We have our y equal to a positive negative 3. So solving for x. So we solve for x using our equation 3. So we use equation 3. We have our x equal to y squared minus 5. So substituting, if our x is, if our y is a 0, 
then x will be equal to a 0 squared minus 5. We replace the value of your y with 0. So our x here will be equal to a negative 5. So meaning if x is negative 5, our y will be a 0. So let's go for the other variable, uh, the value of y, which is y, which is equal to a positive 3. So if y is positive 3, we have x equal to 3 squared minus 5. Our 3 squared is 9 minus 5. That will be equal to a 4. So meaning once your x is 4, our y value is a 3. We go for the other value of y, which is negative 3. We have our x equal to a negative 3 squared minus 5. Negative 3 squared is 9 minus 5. That will be a 4. So meaning once your x is 4, our y value is negative 3. So those are the solutions of your system of nonlinear equations. But we can do the checking here. So we can do the checking. So first one, we have our first equation, x squared plus y squared equal to 25 we replace x with negative 5 squared and then our y here with a 0 and then squared that's equal to 25 will that be equal to 25 so negative 5 squared is 25 plus 0 squared 0 squared is 0 yes indeed this is equal to a 25 then we go for the second equation y squared is equal to x plus 5 our y is a 0 squared. That's equal to x, which is negative 5 plus 5. Will this be equal? So 0 is equal to a 0. Yes, indeed, they are equal. So that means to say that this one is our solution of the equation of the system of nonlinear equations. So next, let's go to check the other uh, point here. So we have our x squared plus y squared equal to 25 steel. We replace x with 4. Then we square plus y, which is 3 squared. Will that be equal to a 25? 4 squared is 16 plus 3 squared is 9. Will that be equal to 25? Yes, indeed. This is 25, which is equal to 25. Let's go to the other equation. y squared is equal to x plus 5. So we have our y still is 3 squared will be equal to um, x here will be a 4 and then plus 5. Will this be equal to a 9? 3 squared is 9 and that's equal to a 9. So you can do the rest of the other point here. You can try to check it out and see whether that is part of the uh, solution of the system of nonlinear equations.